Texans linebacker, leader, one of the leaders of their defense, Denzel Perryman, has been suspended for three games for what they uh, they call repeated violations of playing rules intended to protect the health and safety of players, including uh, during Sunday's game, a helmet-to-helmet shot on uh, Bengals wide receiver Jamar Chase. He was flagged there. Uh, hell, they st- they stood around there a little bit. Looked like they might try to do something more than that, but he got flagged in that game. Uh, he is uh, he is suspended right now for the next three. We'll see what happens. Kareem Jackson for the Broncos, former Texan, he was suspended four games. He got it appealed down to two. So we'll see if uh, if this thing can get lessened for Denzel Perryman. They also cited that in his career, this is the sixth time that he has had. A, uh, a violation like this, uh, including one earlier in the year uh, against the Indianapolis Colts where he had at the time of a player over $66,000, uh, he was fined. And now they've decided, John Runyon, who was in charge of this for the NFL, decided to suspend him um, for the next three games. And those three games, obviously, the Cardinals, uh, the Jags, and the Broncos all here at NRG. Your thoughts, uh, 713-572-4610, your thoughts on Denzel Perryman and the suspension. Clint, I'll let you have it at, have at it first. Your thoughts on this. Well, I, there's a couple things. I, I think I'm not familiar with his history. I was not aware of the history of, of Denzel Perryman up to, to this point. But what I can say is that I feel like the foul that triggered this extremely large suspension, because, yeah, this is about three games, but it's also about 350 thousand dollars worth of worth of money uh game checks that denzel perryman's gonna miss here if indeed this does hold up but the the foul that triggered a three-game suspension ouch for the texans three hundred fifty thousand dollar fine ouch for denzel perryman to me was ticky tack um we watch players if you watch monday night football last night there there's no telling how many players head down crown down leading with the shoulder to the thigh or the shin or the ankle of a running back or a ball carrier in some way, shape, or form. You look at when Denzel Perryman got popped this time. If that runner with the ball stays up upright, he clips mid-quad, if not knee, with the helmet or or, or the shoulder. Um, I know a lot of the, lot of the argument, it's a lot of the would leave the crown of their helmet. You, you, can't, you can't argue. The, the runner is upright. This is one where the runner slid, and he slid late, which forced the contact of the crown of the helmet to the head or neck area, if you will. I think it was a tic-tac foul. I think the fact that there was a slide involved makes it very difficult for me to jump in and go, yep, this is the one we're going to drop the hammer on, Denzel Perryman. This is the one we're 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 going to find him a damn top-line couple of Bentleys. Three hundred and fifty plus thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Yeah, I, I think I think it was I think it was ticky tack. Um, it's hard for me to to move any anywhere beyond the foul that triggered this kind of suspension and this kind of fine is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I'm on the other end. Of it. I completely understand it. I think Denzel did this to himself and did this to the Texans. Uh, and he, I, I remember watching it, thinking. Damn, you can't do that. That's exactly the type of plays that they're trying to take out of the game. And and with Denzel and his previous history, like the one boy, if you go see the one he did, the one that he got fined for against the Colts in week two, uh, that, that was just awful. I mean, that was awful what he did. Leading straight with the head, with his arms back. I mean, hell, he should have been suspended for that one with his history. And as soon as I watched it, he was, it appeared to me that Jamar Chase was starting to give himself up, going down, and then bam, as he does, launches repeatedly, head going ahead. He didn't hit him in the hip. He didn't hit him in the shoulder, nothing. He hit him right in the head. And that guy with that history, six times he's had violations like this. He's been fined earlier this year for a ridiculous hit. I, I watched it in real time thinking, Damn, man, stop, man. That's, that's that's what they're trying to take out of the league. And he put himself in this position, knowing his history, knowing all of that, he put himself in that position when that hit was completely unnecessary. So when I look at how they stated it, six times before in his career, 
including earlier this year, which I'm sure that fine was met. Like the amount of money that fine was, 66 plus thousand dollars on that fine. I mean, he's going to go over, what, $400,000 in fines yep. this year. Hey, man, hey, man, back off. We letting you play. We're not going to suspend you on this one. But, dude, don't have any more of these situations. And that was a situation where Jamar Chase could have easily been uh, been really, really injured. And to me, I can see how they got to a point where this wasn't just a, hey, guys, just playing real hard, accidental thing. This was one that could have been completely avoided. So he's going to miss these games. The thought is how important it is. The thought is, is Henry Toa Toa going to be back from his concussion injury? Or they may really be in trouble. But uh, hopefully for Texans and, and D'Amico Ryan's and company and Denzel Perryman, they get this thing dropped down to maybe two games, one game. That would be fantastic if they could pull that off. But, like, hey, man, I, I just I watched the hit. I saw his previous hit. You see what he's had and been fine before. That's him, in my opinion. From the uh, from the text line, you're an idiot. Um, sure. I, I listen. I sorry, right, man. I, I I you know I knew with the with the uh, with the take that it would be you know some some issues with it, but I just I mean I'm just calling it as as I absolutely see it. Tyler, you saw this. You surprised that it's that it's this much, man. I've gone uh, and you know this. We were talking before the show. I, it's hard for me, man. It's hard. I can really hear both sides. But whenever I watch that play in real time, my initial knee-jerk reaction was, man, that's a bang-bang play. That's Denzel Perryman going to make a tackle. That's Jamar Chase going in for a slide right at that same time. Maybe his helmet wasn't necessarily leading. Maybe he was trying to lead with his shoulder. Maybe his helmet just ended up there. But you look at his past. Just you look always, at his history, and that's there too. I, I don't know, man. happens to be him. <laughs> what the league. Yeah. For, for me, it's it's the the foul that you chose that you chose to drop the hammer on. That that's it. I mean, it's like that that was ticky tack. Any way you slice it, the guy was sliding. He slid late. There's no denying that. And and there's that's the penalty that you decide to drop the hammer on. It, I agree with you with that history. If you just have an egregious like, hey, I'm just upright and I'm just I'm just letting it rip, then then I could see. My problem is is that penalty. There's a lot of gray area in that penalty right there, and that's the one they dropped the helmet on. For me, it's it's tough to stomach that one. 350, three games? Yeah, it, well, it's, sure it's tough. I'm sure you don't like it, but, I mean, there, <clears throat> there's going to be a thing. When you're in the middle of the field and Denzel Perryman gets somebody and nails somebody again with a helper, it's going to get hit. I mean, it's just – now he's got now he's got to take this time to really rethink about, uh, about how he is going to attack – the game and, and, and how he's going to attack uh, guys coming around in his area and not lead with his head. If you go watch the one from the Colts game, you knew he was he Oh, was I agree on watched. that. I, I agree on that. I mean, you knew he was being watched, yeah. and he was going to be in anything close was probably going to result in 